What's up guys, this is Faith Booth, and welcome to Call of Duty Killer number 5834, known as Combat Master. If you take a quick look at this game, it looks very similar to another Call of Duty game that you guys might have heard of. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking, Call of Duty Vanguard. This game has been blowing up recently because Modern Warfare 2 is basically trying to be more like a realistic milsim shooting game. It's more tactical, it's more realistic, but this game right here takes that to the next level. By letting you do this! <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna get in the zone. We're gonna get in the zone. Maybe not. Wait, you can aim with a Kimbo? I don't understand. God, I'm so good at games. Oh my. I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone now. I'm in the zone. I'm in the zone. I'm in, I'm in the auto zone. Shit. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, guys. I'm about to win! <laughs> it's about to end! There you go. The new Call of Duty game is here and I'm already the best player. Before we dive into another game, I need to talk to you guys about what this game is. So what you just witnessed is the next year of Call of Duty. This is Call of Duty 2023, basically being referred to as Modern Warfare 2 and a half. And I think what they've done really well with this game is that they really improved the movement. And I think the best thing that they've done coming from Modern Warfare 2 is that they reduced the amount of movement that you get. As I'm sure we all know, Modern Warfare 2 can just get a little too hectic, a little too crazy sometimes. So with Modern Warfare 2.5, they've really done dialed it back, and I think that they really nailed the movement in this game. Look at that, you can aim akimbo weapons too and not even hit anyone. That's really cool. You see, with Modern Warfare 2, they had unlimited plus movements, but now we just have unlimited movements. So instead of just being able to spam the movement as much as you want in this game, we have a much more toned down version of it in Modern Warfare 2.5. I mean, just look how great this looks. This is a very good looking game. We finally have more of a focus on using guns instead of just moving. Me aim good. No, I only got second place that time. We got the Lion King avatar, nice. That was my favorite TV show. Now what really stands out about Modern Warfare 2.5 is the new Gunsmoth system. If you click over here on the mods, you can put attachments on your gun, which we've never been able to do on Modern Warfare 2. That silly goose of a game didn't even have attachments. What a weirdo, what a weird game. Wow, look at that. This will actually make the game better. See, this slows down your movement and you don't really want to do that. Modern Warfare 7 is all about being the coolest and you're not cool if you're slow. If you're slow, you're an idiot. Oh, see this, this actually makes you aim faster when moving. So I'm gonna put that on that looks cool You might think that this thing right here is a pistol, but this was actually a weapon severed from an m1 abrams This thing will destroy you. You're about to find out We're gonna queue for team deathmatch and i'm gonna show you guys how it's oh my god They have high rise from black ops 1 if you thought it was crazy before you don't even know what crazy is look This is the exact same layout as high rise from black ops 2 God, I'm so good. My aim is the best too. That's the best part about me. When you click onto a Merc music video, you're basically just watching perfection of aim. Like I can't possibly miss a shot. Just watch this, look, 360. I can't possibly miss a shot. Just watch this. Watch, watch this special little move I do. Look at that. Just watch this special little move I do. That wasn't it. Fuck! Fuck you! There it is, that's my special move. I, I, I'm gonna do it again, watch, watch closely. Not when I'm dead. If I die, I can't show you the special move. This is the special move. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I'm getting the thing ready. I'm getting, I get the thing ready and then... Ooh! Look at that! Harakiri? I got plus five XP. What does that mean? Here we go. Special move. Oh! Oh! I'm the best! Look at that. Once again, I am just so... Guys, there's only three seconds left. We gotta win. We gotta win. Special technique. Oh, I can't, I can't believe we lost that. I was playing so good. I had 100% accuracy. Ooh, level six. We got 15 minutes of double XP just for playing the game. Wow. I'm telling you, man, this game just gets better as the second of the day goes by. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, does this game have turtles? And as you can see here from like Fart turtles. Nugget, he likes turtles. So this game probably has them. But even more importantly, important than that, you're probably wondering, Eric, does this game have thousands of dollars worth of Coolio skins that I can waste my money on? You're darn tootin'est. If you click the supply drop right over here, you can see the store. I kind of teased this a little bit at the start 
start, but I didn't want to show it because I know if you guys saw this, you'd instantly be like, okay, gotta steal mommy's credit card. It's time to buy everything here. Because just look at these bundles. I mean, does Call of Duty even really compare? Just check this one out. This one's called Shadow Rider. This is only $6 and you get the epic Shadow Rider skin. This is Shadow Rider. This is like the coolest thing ever. So you get a Relic Tier skin. On top of that, you also get this gun. It floats. Then you got another gun. This one also floats. You get a cool little, uh, you get a cool little watch. You get a bunch of other guns. You get the Shadow Reaper. You get the Ara Ara. You get the Uwu. One hour of rank XP and one hour of weapon XP. This is only $6. With Modern Warfare 2 and 3 quarters, they actually listened to the community and they gave us more items for less money. And basically every single bundle is the exact same. Except for, I think this one. It doesn't have a lot. Yeah, yeah, the dual katana pack is seven bucks. You don't get as much stuff. I think this bundle is just recycled from Modern Warfare 2 because it's a horrible deal. But you know what? I'm feeling a little Spicy. We're gonna just queue for oh shit. You know these guys have no clue what's coming. Oh my god, they got the map subway from surfers. Gonna hit the floaty doski on them. Floaty doski. Where the fuck were you? Come on, buddy. It's a 1v1 situation right now. This is for everything. Oh god, you really lost. My team sucks. This is such bullshit! You're all hacking! They're all cheating! Everyone's cheating! <laughs> That's not impossible. These kills are getting- the kills they're getting, they're not even real. I can't believe my ear balls right now. Phase boost does not lose search and destroy. He hits trick shots in search. Yo, get the bomb down! What are you noobs doing? We got a 1v2 scenario right now. Your boy's got a clutch up. Yeah, okay, we- I don't know how we didn't win that. I was dancing way more than they were. I was way cooler. I'm the only one on my team with a kill, so... It's tough. It's just a tough game. There we go, we got a kill. Looking good so far. Hey, I took out two of them. Come on, guys. What is- What is our teammate? <laughs> He's right above you. You can hear him. They went, hup, hup. Oh my god! <laughs> Now see, the reason you want to play Search and Destroy is because you'll get way more exponential points. At least if you're killing people. I've. Uh, can we just call it here? Can we, can we surrender? This is bad. We gotta play to six rounds? Oh god. Battle pass level three! That's how you get it. Me aim good. This team is so good, it's unbelievable. Look at him go, look at him. Yo, he's sneaking through. You got one? Can you get the last one? Nice. Well, at least we won that game. So Search and Destroy, as you can tell, is really bad for XP. You barely get anything, so I'm not going to touch it anymore. It has nothing to do with the fact that we lost. Now, another thing that this Call of Duty game has done really nicely is that they've gotten rid of skill-based matchmaking. It was a really simple fix, too. All they did was remove skill from the game, so now there can't even be anything to base the, the matchmaking off of. I thought this was a really smart investment. I really do think that this is what every board game should be trying from now on. I mean, just look at look how beautiful this is. This is this is how FPS games were meant to, to exist. Look at that! Look at that! Wait, what? Okie dokie. I like how the guy says okie dokie too. It just makes you feel nice and calm, like everything's gonna be okay. Okay, I think that's enough goofing off though. I should probably tell you guys what's actually going on here. So this is a game called Combat Master. I've been told that this game was initially a mobile game, but they put it on Steam for some godforsaken reason. And now everyone's playing it because there is unlimited movement in this game. As you can see, you can spam jump and crouch as much as you want. You can fly around the map like a goddamn crackhead. And people are loving this game for that reason. Like it's ridiculous. The game is free to play, so you don't have to waste any money on it. Unless of course you do want to buy bundles, which Sadly enough, they are better than Modern Warfare 2's in terms of like what you get in the value. Although I personally would not recommend spending any money on this game. I mean, it's just so gimmicky. It's so dumb. If you enjoy it and you have fun playing it, I mean, that's totally fine. I'm just saying like for the average person, you're probably just going to load up on this game, goof around on it for like an hour, and then you're going to be done because you realize it's so fucking annoying to have to constantly be jumping and crouch spamming every single thing you do. There's a reason why it's been calmed down in video games. It's because it's just too much. It's going to sound sad, but I actually kind of like this game. <laughs> <laughs> It's not horrible. I mean, look, we got a cool little akimbo animation where it actually aims in. I figured I'd have some fun goofing around on this game. I saw some of your guys' comments, and I know you guys wanted to see me play this. Check it out. See what I think about it. I think it's ridiculous. I don't know how to feel about this game. Like, I, I don't know if I should be having fun or if I should be terrified. Like, what the fuck? Now, if you had to ask me, do I think this is a Call of Duty killer? Absolutely not. The best way I can describe this game is that it's going to have this gimmicky movement that everyone's going to be drooling over for a week, and then it's going to be done. Like, that's an actual example of it, because I can't imagine this game really surviving 
surviving in the long term. Now, I could be wrong and I could eat my words, but I doubt that's going to happen. I want to be playing things that I think are funny or goofy, make for entertaining content, and not really just sit here and whine about the problems of Modern Warfare 2. Prime example, there's already something that I could complain about on Modern Warfare 2. There's a new pay to win bundle for DMZ where when you buy the skin from the store, every time you spawn in for DMZ, you will have a self res kit. Like, I could have easily just hopped on Modern Warfare 2 and cried about it for like the next 10 to 15 minutes, but what is that going to fucking do? Like, <laughs> It's not gonna do anything. Oh, nice no scope collab. That was moist. But like for real, man, they're not gonna do anything to actually improve or fix the game. It's just facts. Like, I really don't think there's anything they're gonna do to actually fix or improve Modern Warfare 2. They're just gonna do things. Like they're the Joker, if the Joker was just hungry for money. I don't know. It's just kind of sickening. I can't believe that's how they're treating the game, but at the same time, like, I don't think there's anything I can do to fix or improve that situation. I'll still be playing and posting Modern Warfare 2 here and there, and obviously I'm gonna go back and play some older Call of Duty games and stuff. I saw a lot of suggestions from you guys saying to go back and play the older Call of Duty games and even just get back on like X Labs, Plutonium. There's all kinds of other stuff I want to do, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't want to just sit here and complain about Modern Warfare 2, whether it's the microtransactions, which will obviously never be changed, or the gameplay, which is also probably not going to be changed. It's time to just realize that it's not going to get better and just give up on it. Wait, I unlocked the impact grenade? Oh, the thing is so annoying. Yes, I can finally bother people with it now. Sweet. Oh my god, you head glitching a little fuck! I wanna win! I'm I'm not I'm not in first place. Faith Boost is struggling today. A second place, are you kidding me? There's so many sweats on this game right now, I don't understand. The first time I ever played gun game, it was so casual. <laughs> this game actually does have kill streaks. They're called kill chains. You can only pick one and I put the nuke on. If you get 14 kills in this game, you just instantly win. Yeah, that's totally not overkill at all. We got Egypt again. Hopefully I can find Yugi somewhere in here. You know, another big reason I wanted to play this game today was to see if I would have as much fun just like playing this game again. The very first time I played it, I was like, this is so janky. It's so weird. I was just like laughing my ass off. And now that it's like day two of playing this game, I <laughs> I really don't know, man. <laughs> Having fast-paced movement and stuff is great. It's fun. I mean, just look at X Defiance. That game really had a good balance of being faster-paced and having good movement and stuff, but also not letting you go too insane with it. This game right here is like movement diarrhea. It is so excessive. But to be honest, that's what makes the game what it is. Like, it's just ridiculous. Not meant to be taken seriously. But that is also why I don't think anyone's gonna play this for a super long amount of time. Unless you really have nothing else to do. My whole thing is that if you can't take a game seriously, at least to some capacity, then you're not going to get invested in it, which means you're not going to really play it that much. But for the time being, it's a little goofy game. Can have fun goofing around on it. See, the whole thing is that I got that nuke streak on accident. Now that I want it, it's never going to happen. I'm on a zip line. Fuck! The zip line's useless. It's actually too slow compared to the movement of the game. Like, that's crazy. They should increase the speed of the zip lines. Oh! <laughs> no, oh my god, second place again. Let's play again. I, I, I must win. And we got farm. <laughs> Camping on the farm. Oh god, this is a really small map though. This is basically the shipment of the game, it seems like. There we go. We're gonna get the nuke. We had a really nice streak. Let's keep it up. How do you get your health back? How do you even see your health? Like, I don't understand that. Oh my god, what a miracle. Ooh! No, you fuck! Oh, nice no scope. Come on, face boost, we gotta get a win. Oh my god, the gun bobbing from the shooting. Oh, yes. Oh! No, we do. Oh, it's over. I just need one more kill. Let's go, face boost. Let's get him. No, we won! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, I almost fainted. <laughs> I'm in tears. This game is basically keyboard mashing simulator. Like, it is nothing but just spamming the shit out of every button you have. <laughs> also, I just realized that when you go to look at the shop on this game, it has an app store icon. <laughs> So yeah, this was 100% a mobile game that got ported over to PC, which is just crazy. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play a little bit of Modern Warfare 2.5. Hope you guys enjoyed the early access gameplay. But for real, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more Combat Master stuff or maybe some other goofy games, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Now come, Tranquil. <laughs>